Hi, I'm Dr. M. Kamakshaya, Open Source Software Evangelist and also a full stack developer. In my previous video, I explained how to uh, install Ubuntu 18.04 using VirtualBox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your system and then uh, install few utility uh, software. Now, once you uh, accomplished with your installation, then you have to set up. Suppose if your system, I mean, you are behind the proxy, if your computer is behind the proxy, then you need to go to the settings and preferences and then update the proxy settings in your browser because in future we are going to download Hadoop using uh, this Firefox inside Ubuntu operating system. Now, once you have done that, then you also have to set up the proxy settings in your terminal. I mean, we are going to make use of apt uh, just like uh, suppose if you open your this is the first time when you open a terminal inside uh, Ubuntu this is how it looks like then you need to update your operating system so this is the first time I'm opening a Ubuntu operating system then for that we have a statement that is sudo apt get uh, update now this is not going to update my system because uh, I did not configure my system for proxy now this is just uh, uh, keep waiting like this I'm going to cancel this by pressing ctrl C and uh, I'll pause my video for a few minutes because I'm going to set up a proxy in my computer and I'll come back and show you how to update the operating system now I set up my proxy settings in my system and let's see uh, let us run the same command now I'll clear my console and then CD I'm going to the home uh, if you want to see you can uh, I am in my home directory sudo apt get update so this time yeah it is going on so once you download the updates then you should in issue another command that is sudo apt get install we need to wait for a few seconds because my system is still downloadi downloading the updates. Now the same command but with a little difference this is time upgrade okay now Ubuntu will tell you that you have some certain size of now press enter now your system is getting updated now once after updating your system then you should be able to install two very important utility uh, software that is if config and ssh open ssh for uh, these are going to be very much important ahead open ssh dash server something like that and these software applications are important in order to manage our hadoop installation in future i'll pass my video for few seconds and come back later this is how it looks like when it done with everything and now we can um, restart the machine i'm just going to close my uh, terminal sorry terminal and now yeah if uh, anything triggered like this for updates you just press install now and it's not going to install anything it will show you that your system is update uh, just as a matter of caution i would like to do that uh, this way because we updated the system now the system has got a clue that there are few updates available outside now you can just go ahead and restart the system so that we can go ahead with our installations further installations I'm going to restart my system now it's uh, restarting 
we need to wait patiently shortly we are going to get the login page come on So Ubuntu is a wonderful operating system for all needs of uh, your software developments. This is open source software, open source operating system. You don't need to worry about uh, buying your software. We don't need to buy software outside because software is a public good today. And uh, spending money on software, either on operating systems or utility software, I mean user applications is just not a wise uh, decision. Today we have everything and open source is a uh, a platform uh, through which we get uh, abundant of software applications freely not that it is just a free because freedom in open source community is a virtue not a curse Ubuntu then let us uh, open this time the terminal I'm going to open the terminal now once after logging inside now open the terminal you just have to press Control alt t in order to now sudo apt install the first one is going to be if config because we want to see what is the name of this computer Today you should manually run sudo dpkg something like that ok no problem yeah exit no one saw guy because we did not install sudo apt uh, get in upgrade update you have to run because I abruptly restarted my operating system without uh, I mean in spite of upgrade was interrupted uh, dpkg configure yeah okay sudo dpkg configure because Ubuntu always Linux always gives uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful platform to learn quite a few things related to uh, operating system and other software issues. Now it is repairing itself because I restarted my computer willy nilly. The notice given by the operating system for updates. So now it is trying to regenerate the. Yeah, let's wait patiently and see what's going to happen. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I am going to clear sudo apt install if config. Okay, I'm unable to look at the bug. If I have sudo apt get install I have config. Okay, I have clear. I have config. Net tools, okay. I'm sorry. Sudo apt install net tools. No fix broken install apt fix broken install. Hmm, there is something went wrong in my system. I think I should uh, wait for a few seconds patiently because it is adamantine now. Yeah, I got to do that with the help of sudo. Actually, I forgot to give this sudo and it was asking me, yes, you want to do that as super user do? Yes, I want to do it. Uh, I'm just uh, trying to fix my broken dependencies and we should be able to come back to my topic once we repair this system. I'm sorry, I couldn't have done that uh, when I was restarting the system. It asked me, do you want to go for updates? I said, yes but then I restarted it so it is not a good uh, user habit now so let uh, me go to that into history yeah net tools yes now it is going ahead so whenever it gives threats we should not afraid of it and we need to gain back I mean lean back get the confidence and go ahead now this time if config now you see, wonderful, we are able to use our, this is my computer name, okay. Now I'm going to show you, uh, we need one more uh, utility function that is uh, SSH and that will be there in uh, a particular uh, package called open SSH server. So 
the statement we required to do that is sudo apt-get install openssh server sudo apt-get install openssh I pressed my tab button I'm waiting to full now server yeah yes now should be able to use make use of SSH now issue the command ssh then you should be able to find uh, it is responding so this is installed uh, properly now this is for this video and i'll come back to you with another video and i'll show you how to configure two different systems and connect them using ssh thanks for watching this video stay tuned to the new content don't forget to subscribe to my video channel